Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games, and we're hopping right into it. We're in a band, apparently, that's playing on top of a bus that's going to kill them all. Nothing more rock and roll than mother effing dying. This, of course, is Rock Band. Oh, I can't believe they survived that crap. Talk about plot armor. Um, this is Rock Band. I can't believe we've never played the original Rock Band, but I guess we've played every variant, sub-variant offshoot genetic species of rock band and guitar hero that exist. Um, yes, we have talked about this before, but I feel like the thousand one book has a number of sequels. Um, and they're a little overburdened with sequels. So for instance, I, I think the original rock band and guitar hero should be in the book and maybe even like guitar hero two, if people consider that one super iconic, but we've done like Beatles rock band. We did, was there like a Metallica one? We've done like Guitar Heroes 1, 2, and 3. Like we've done a lot. So um, who knows? Maybe we'll discover something different today. But my controller's not working. Um, all right, time out. A modern day warrior, mean, mean stride. Today's Tom Sawyer, mean. All right, working again. Uh, start. There we go. Um, okay, hold on. I'm going to switch my guitar to the other side here. Um, okay, continue. Some TVs can introduce a delay between when you hit the note and when you hear the music. If you experience this while uh, playing, choose Calibrate. We'll do a game. All right, let's just hop in here. The funnest thing about Rock Band and Guitar Hero, I said this in like all the other videos where we've played these, is the music. They have a lot of good tunes. A lot of good tunes. Um, let the crowd decide your next song. That's kind of cool. Uh, should I stay or should I go? I actually kind of don't like that song. It's a little too... Um, it's funny how like the the rock songs of one generation are the Pantene Pro V commercial songs of the next. Songs like this, I feel like have been overused in commercials. Like um, this is a good one. This is a good one too. What's this one? Eh, I mean, Queen's always good. I can't believe they have OK Go. When did this game come out? Yeah, like this has been used into way too many commercials, unfortunately. Oh, I think I'm paranoid. Doing it. <laughs> I'm a child of the 90s. What can I say? We'll do guitar on. We'll start on easy. I remember how some of these other Rock band and guitar heroes have gone. Yo, I always have to start on easy. I was gonna say you always have to start on easy, but you guys don't have to do a thing. You're probably far more competent than me at this game. Um, so this may be the last guitar hero game that we ever play on the channel. And barring some kind of resurgence in the future, this oddly enough might be the last guitar hero rock band play game I ever play in my life. It's weird to think about that. Maybe I'll play it again one day in a few years just so that this is it's actually kind of depressing to me. Like, this is my last time bef before I die. Oh, God. Oh, God. I made myself sad. Um, this is taking a while to load, too. Okay, there it goes. I, I thought it was glitching out or something. I'm going to turn it up a little so I can hear the music, but let's see what happens with the YouTube copyrights. One thing that has changed in YouTube over the seven years since uh, I started making videos is when I started making videos, if you showed clips of a movie, you got copyright striked right away. Like it was just, you weren't allowed to do it. But nowadays there's a big community of people who watch movies for the first time, first time reactions. And they're literally showing clip after clip after clip of a movie. And I legit wonder how they get away with that. <laughs> And, I mean, I think it's just that YouTube has changed its policy over the years. Like, if you're clearly doing commentary, you're allowed to do it. 
But you're not allowed to do commentary over songs, which is unfortunate. So I'm expecting this video to be demonetized or striked or something. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully not striked, but definitely demonetized. But I've mentioned in a few other videos, I really like watching people do first-time reactions to movies. And I've kind of contemplated doing it myself. The one, of course, hindrance is that I don't show my face, so... I don't know if my channel would be very successful. Because people want to see people's, like, facial reactions, so I don't know. Maybe it's just not a format that's ripe for me. Um... But, like, people like director commentary tracks. Now, I'm not a director of any movies, but I could certainly gather uh, maybe a friend or two and do the occasional commentary track on a movie. Maybe that would be fun. I don't know. Anyway, just spitballing thoughts. But, yes, no matter what, music remains uniquely intolerant of uh, YouTube use, which makes playing... Guitar Hero in games like this difficult. I imagine that watching this game on a really high skill level would be super impressive, but watching it on like a low skill level, I don't know how impressive this really feels. I mean, it's certainly not impressive. I guess more aptly, I don't know how interesting this really is. I guess you guys are just here for the tunes like me. So we can just watch an endless stream of dots floating towards us and hope that Jay doesn't miss a note because you won't really want to hear the song that's being played. <laughs> oh man, this song really does take me back. Early 90s rock, like Big Shiny Tunes era. Reminds me of like driving around in my mom's car during high school, picking up your friends. You know, just doing nothing, like going to the dollar theater, trying to get someone to, like, buy you a 40 because you wanted booze, but you're also very poor at the time. So for those, I don't know, who may be in Europe or something, not know what a 40 is, it's like three or four dollars for, like, a jug of beer, but it's like the crap, it's like malt liquor. It's the crappiest beer you've ever tasted. It's awful. I remember Colt 45 was my drink of choice in high school. Usually, though, you only really got to drink in high school during parties. I mean, nobody's, like, getting smashed. I mean, maybe some people were, but, I mean, me and my friends weren't just getting smashed on a regular weekday. Drinking on weekends was only really fun in parties. Like, we didn't just sit around and drink for no reason, so... Um, and then during parties, so many people were gathering together, like, somebody had some in for booze, and that person would have to buy, like, $50 worth of alcohol because everyone would just use them. Um, 99% guys, that's a passing grade. New song, let's do it. Let's try a medium, which I think introduces the blue button. And then that taps out my abilities. If you introduce the orange button, I'm just <laughs> SOL. There's no way I can do it. Um, I wonder what songs remind you guys of your youth. I guess it's it's really give a hard tell into when you were born. Um, oh, I like this song too. And it feeds. I know a lot of Nine Inch Nails. I don't know if I really know this one all that well. Oh yeah, I know it. I know it. That's a good song. Let's do a REM. We're just gonna do <clears throat> a bit of '90s nostalgia. Some musicians would have to select lefty mode from the pause menu. Kurt Cobain, Jimi Hendrix, Paul McCartney, and Tony Iamo. Guess what? I'm also left-handed. But I guitar and guitar hero right-handed. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a musician by trade. Um, in fact, I don't think I know how to play anything. Oh, I think I once figured out how to play Mary Had a Little Lamb. I was sitting in front of a piano. I'm just messing around with the keys, and I was able to, like, through trial and error and a bit of induction, I was able to figure out Mary Had a Little Lamb. Then I was all impressed. Showed my friend. I was like, look at this. I can play Mary Had a Little Lamb. And then she just started playing it, too. I'm like, you don't play piano. She's like, well, I, you know, just a tiny bit for when I was a kid. Here I am thinking I was special. I figured it out. But no. 
No. <laughs> Look, I can do many things. I can program computers. Um, can't play a musical instrument. Also dabbled in creative writing at one point. Had a semi-successful blog around it. And then I got into the YouTube game. Literally playing games. I think if I play this on hard, I'm just not even going to be able to enjoy the song, because I can barely function here. You know what? I can only press one button at a time, I'm noticing. Like, my hand just... Oops. It will not let me go to two buttons at a time. And if I had two buttons, I would screw it up. Ah, that's a good song, though. There is something, like, weirdly rewarding about playing the notes that you hear in a song. Like, I was never huge into rock band. I completely get why people were really into it. Also, Rock Band was sort of like this game that pulled in non-gamers. Like, people who weren't normally that into games really got into Rock Band. Like, people who were kind of, like, too cool for video games, like people who were really into music but not really into games, they kind of got into Rock Band for obvious reasons. It's almost like the original Wii phenomenon, because, like, the Wii, part of its big success is that it pulled in all these, like, non-gaming grandmas who thought playing Wii Tennis was, like, gonna keep them young and active or something. And, like, you know, power to the Wii, it did try to encourage fitness more than, like, a PlayStation or an Xbox. But it's just, uh, it's just a, um, Wii. It's not gonna be very healthy. So right now, my power bar is super powered up. I'm supposed to tilt the guitar, but if I do that, I'm totally going to, uh, hit my microphone. So unfortunately, we're not going to do any power moves today. And you can blame the recording setup for that one. But, uh... Just so you guys know, I know I'm supposed to... flip the guitar for my power. I just, I physically can't, unfortunately. I wonder if they have any bare naked ladies... in this game. So the only disappointing thing about Rock Band and Guitar Hero and all that is that you have to unlock songs. And I get why they do it. Because, like, if you own this game, you want to, like, be rewarded as you, like, get better and better. So you want to, like, do a career and unlock different songs and stuff. It's exciting. But then if you are playing like me and you just want to sample the game for half an hour, you probably want to just play whatever you want to play. So... Then, and there's no solution. If they made a mode where you could just play any song you want, why would anyone bother to unlock the songs, right? Like, it would take away that reward. So you destroy the idea of unlocking songs. So you just, you can't do it. It's like a no-win scenario. It's like the Kobayashi Maru equivalent for the game developers. <laughs> um, but what I'm saying is, if there is some BNL, I would love to play it. I just don't think we're going to be able to. 97 note streak. Why don't we quickly see... I mean, we've played a couple of songs. Well, just two that I liked. I think we heard another one on the title screen that I liked. Why don't we just go into career mode and mess around for a couple of songs? Maybe we'll find something cool. Because, like, I mean, we could play the Nine Inch Nails song or something else, but... Um, we want solo tour. You must be signed in. Yep, I'll do it. J1001, let's go. <clears throat> I wonder how they rank songs in this. Like, if you were a musician, and your song was like a beginner song, would you be offended? Alright, it can be male or female. I guess male. Makes sense. Hometown Boston. Okay, I, this has come up before on my channel. I can't do accents really well. And I swear to God, I'm thinking of Matt Damon in Goodwill Hunting. 
I, I'm going to try and do a Boston accent. How do them apples taste? <laughs> I, I, it sounds different in my head. It comes out wrong. Whatever. We're done making a character. He's from Boston. <laughs> Stupid. Yes, create him. You must name your character. Oh. No, seriously? Wait, how do you... How does this work? How do you go vertically? Um, name... Done. I guess you need to pick up an actual controller to name him. That's weird. You can only go up and down on the Guitar Hero guitar. How do you go, like... Or, sorry, how do you go horizontally? Oh, there's an arrow pad. Oh, my God. I never noticed this. Um, there's a little, uh, D-pad on the Guitar Hero thing. Um, alright, let's play some easy songs. I like them nice and easy. Like I like my, uh, floozies. Oh god, that's all the crappy ones. What's the bonus tour? Okay, I guess... This one's pretty good. This one, honestly, I feel like I heard it recently on the radio, and I forgot it's old. I thought this was new. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Oh, man. You know when you think something is new, but it's been out for like five years? Like, to me, Rick and Morty is still a new show. It's an amazing show. It's on like season six. It's out for six years. You know? Or, I mean, that's just the one that comes to mind because I was literally watching a Rick and Morty episode earlier today. But there's all sorts of things where I'm like, that is, that is a new thing in my mind. It's like nine years old. That's how you know you're aging, when the things that you think of as new um, are themselves actually- like a kid would think they're old. And then the grim specter of death comes for you because you've aged out of your life. Let's stop talking about death and focus on the music. Or maybe talking about death is very metal and we should be talking about it. Let's talk about our own mortality. Talk about retirement accounts and uh, old age living homes, assisted living and our children viewing us as a burden. That's so effing metal. <laughs> I think I thought um, what's her face saying this? Oh god, I can't think of a name right now. Uh, metric. Has sort of a metric sound to it, but pretty sure it's not metric. I think it was Mississippi or something. Or some actually, I don't know. We should look it up when we um, get back to the menu. It's a good song. It's a good song. It definitely does have an early 2000s ish feel, so I'm actually now not surprised that it's in the game and that it is an older song. I wonder if any professional guitarist has played this game and like afterwards started to think of their music in Guitar Hero form. You know, it's a series of abstract notes falling towards you that you have to press something at the right time. It's weird because in some ways this game really does oddly emulate the feeling of being like a rock star and playing a guitar. But it's also nothing like playing a guitar. It's, it's about as much like playing a guitar as, uh, you know, swinging a sword in Diablo is like sword fighting. It's an approximation, right? And yet, it's this fascinating approximation where average people can feel like they're playing guitar. Musicians who know how to play guitar can pick up Guitar Hero and usually play fairly well, even though it's their first time. Like, I'm sure anyone who's not played Guitar Hero, who knows how to play the guitar, could pick this game up and do better than me. Because they have, like, finger dexterity and, like, memories of how to move their fingers in ways that my fingers never move. I'm having this very interesting discussion here now, guys. Let's get into the science of Guitar Hero finger movements. I wonder if any instrument would help. Like, if you played the trumpet, would you be better at Guitar Hero? Or 
trying to think of some other random instrument. Drums! I mean, there is an actual drum set for Rock Band. Which I only have on Wii because a friend lent it to me. And I don't have this game currently handy on Wii. I kind of thought maybe I should try Rock Band and play the drums at some point on my channel. And then I just sort of got to this game and was like, eh, it's too much trouble. Killer performance, though. So, I mean, I guess this channel's going down in history is only ever playing the guitar slash bass on Rock Band and Guitar Hero games, but... I don't know, I'm not too broken up over it. What can I say? Sometimes I'm lazy, guys. Doesn't get more metal than that. Although, actually, I would say probably musicians aren't lazy. Rock, rock gu guitar people have, like, a, you know, this atmosphere of being, like, rebels and stuff, but they're probably not lazy. They have to work really hard to get where they are in life, so. Like, to be as successful as they are and to put out really good music. Um, oh, I didn't look at the, the artist behind that song. Who was it? Maps by the Yeah Yeah Yeahs. I was way off. What did I say? Mississippi? <laughs> I thought that's what it, it was maps, but I remembered Mississippi. Early onset Alzheimer's, guys. My brain is turning to mush. Let's see what's under medium. Maybe some cool songs. Oh, it's the exact same cr stuff. Okay, well, since it's the exact same songs no matter what, let's try the, um, uh, like, gig tour thing, whatever it was at the bottom. The bonus tour. It's a long, it's a long I don't know if I know that song, actually. Maybe it's an indie band or something? I don't know. <laughs> Rossi is playing live tonight. I'm on the far right going Aah! Guys, we need a picture for the promotional uh, billboard. Can you do one where you're just screaming into the night? And we'll use that one. Oh man, that's a huge stage. That'd actually be wild to play on. You know, we recently played, um... Um... What was it? That movie game. It made me want to be an actor. Now we're doing this, and it makes me want to, uh... Be a musician. You know what I'm, I'm realizing? I think the movie one I haven't put out yet. I record episodes sometimes out of order, guys. But probably coming out soon, since I don't think it actually is out is a game where you have to make movies, and it actually did make me want to be on a movie set. Um, looking at this stage here, I think I feel like, man, I kind of wish I was on stage somewhere. Like, that would actually be so cool, looking out, seeing the crowds. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I definitely do not know this song at all. I think this band is made up. It sounds like a song written by AI just for the just for the game. It's a procedurally generated song. <laughs> That'd be a wild thought. If they uh, procedurally generated songs in this game the way Diablo procedurally generates dungeons. Okay, question. When you play Guitar Hero, when you strum, I just click down once with my thumb. Do you click down or do you wiggle it? Or do you click or do you press it up? I'm a down I'm a down thumber. It's my action move. Also, how many moves ahead do you look? I guess I don't look a specific number of moves ahead. I just sort of like in, in the peripheral vision, I try and look for the colors and the columns that things are coming down and roughly plan. But we're playing on easy and medium, so it's pretty easy to anticipate what's coming up. On expert, let's do one expert song. 
So you can see how bad I am. We're just gonna fail instantly. It's not even like see how bad I am. It's like I'm just gonna miss a bunch of notes and it will just end. Get booed off stage. Man, if you stare at this long enough, I feel like you would dream about these falling dots. So, I mean, that's the whole- that's the Tetris effect, right? Like, if you play Tetris or Dr. Mario enough, you, like, see phantom ghost images of Tetris and Dr. Mario pieces falling. I feel like I'm gonna get it from this game. I- like, I could almost get motion sickness staring at this. Ugh. I kinda don't like it. It's kinda off-putting. Oh! Song's still going! I thought we were done! I looked away, actually. I think we're just at the midpoint. No, now it's now it's done. All right, we did it. Yeah, you like that, Boston? Do you like that? Do you like that? Get some. I, I whispered to the security guard. Get some groupies. Bring them back. Hey, we got one hundred and twenty dollars for that. Sold out Madison Square Garden for one hundred and twenty pounds. That's the, the profit after you pay your agent and all the security fees and etc. Day late dollar short was added to your set list. Do I know that song? Let's see. The song sounds like a nightmare on uh, Expert. Which means we're going to try it. All right, this is our last song. I mean, I don't know how far you guys want me to go in Guitar Hero games these days. You've watched me fail several other ones before this, but... Let's go for that new song we unlocked and unleash chaos on ourselves. Oh, it's not even there. Is it? Hold on. Nope, it's not. Let's do Nirvana. It's nice and easy. How hard could a Nirvana song be to guitar? I wonder if they'll ever re-release this. You know, I feel like Guitar Hero and Rock Band was like an era. People went nuts over it. Nuts! It was like five sequels put out in two years. Or whatever it was. It was people were crazy for this stuff for like this brief window of like three, four years. And now nobody cares. It's gone. There's still like a loyal fan base, like the way there is for everything. But I wonder if they will or ever could. Oh, F me. Oh, we got some. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ugh. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> Get out of here! Get out of Corky- Corky's! This basement bar is better than you! You don't play Nirvana like that, you get out! Alright, you, you guys saw a terrible song. Let's play that song on easier difficulty so we can end on an actual good song. And so I can get one more copyright strike against this video. Let's go all in. I wonder what happened if you uploaded a video to YouTube that had like... 2,000 clearly audible copyrighted songs. <laughs> we just get banned from YouTube right away. I guess I don't want to find out. When I played the Beatles version of Rock Band or Guitar Hero or whatever it was, I definitely had to go in and garble up all the songs because otherwise uh, the video wasn't playable. Um, okay, let's just do it on easy. I I'm taking the easy way out, guys. Um, Nirvana, right? Yeah, I, I, I do like this song. This is another Big Shiny Tunes era good song. But... Could they ever release Guitar Hero or Rock Band? What do you guys think? Would anyone actually buy it? I gotta... I feel like, no, I feel like the era has just passed. The interesting thing is it was like almost the novelty of it that got people to try it. It's the same thing with the Wii. 
Like you, I don't think you could put out another Wii. I mean, they've tried to keep the motion controls in a little bit with the Switch, but they definitely gravitated back towards a more traditional console. Nintendo has. Um, if they did another console where they're like motion control thing, people would be like, "Yeah, we have the Wii," you know. Like it's one of those things where, because it already exists, I don't know if people would care to do it again. Maybe one day, when our kids' kids are grown up, they'd be like, oh, remember Guitar Hero? Our grandparents used to play it. And then maybe they'll want to play it, but I mean, honestly, I don't know of anything that my grandparents played that I was, like, aching to play, you know, like... Um... What did my grandparents even do? Hopscotch? I don't even know what they did. I guess they played marbles, and I played marbles in school. But those feel like... Unrelated fads, I don't know. I don't think my grandparents ever played Pog, or had slap bracelets. Or played NES after school. This is much more my pace. It's the one thing I, say. I don't know the lyrics, but I know the tonality of the song. I see shoot his gun and he don't know what it means. Don't know what it means. It always feels good to sing along to songs, but it doesn't good feel good to hear the person <laughs> singing along unless they're actually a good singer, so. I'm going to try and refrain from singing as much as I can to not uh, annoy the hell out of you guys. But this this is a good song. Alright, I think after this video... Oh, it's still going. I mean, of course it's still going. There's a brief break. After this video, though, I think I'm going to have to go load up some of my old 90s playlists and have a 90s fest here. do 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 this would probably be a good one to play uh, bass to. Here's a good part. Uh -huh, pretty sound, and he likes to shoot it young, and he likes to shoot gun. Don't know what it means. Don't know what it means. Oh, the crowd's going nuts, man. Look at him. Because I'm so awesome. Don't know what it means. Don't know what it means. Oh, it's my, uh, solo. It'd be a hundred percent solo. Well, oh, man, this... This is a great song, Nando. No, no, I missed! Likes to shoot it long, and he likes to see the sun, and he don't know what it means. Oh, man. You guys remember Big Shiny Tunes? This is of that era. Of that era. Driving around in your parents' cars, man. Picking up your friends. I don't know if you guys did that or not. What'd you guys do in Europe? I feel like Europe has, like, a totally different growing up mentality than, like, the West. In Canada and the U.S., we all needed to drive around places, so we were always trying to borrow cars. Well, I guess unless you... So I grew up my formative years in London, Ontario, not Toronto. Uh, even though I was from Toronto and I moved back to it after. But I guess if you grew up in Toronto, you weren't trying to borrow your parents' cars. You were taking the TTC and meeting up with friends. So it's a little different. But, uh... We did it! 20, 25 whole dollars! We, and we have dog cuffs. 
Woo. Well, this has been Rock Band. I mean, you know, you can play more songs, unlock more gigs, get more regalia to wear. I don't know. I never really played these games that much when they were out. I always played them at parties and stuff. I never owned one or unlocked everything, but you know, if you like if you like music, um and hey, even people like me who aren't like, I wouldn't consider myself like a music head. I'm not like obsessed with, you know, it's like some people are really into music. I like, I like songs, but I'm not like a music guy, but it's fun to play and like hear the songs and also feel a little powerful, a bit of a power trip when you're playing it well. Um, if you're a musician, you probably have an easier time with the more complex songs. For me, I've never been able to graduate beyond medium. It, it taps out my skills. I can't do the five buttons. I just can't. I've tried. But I'm so old at this point that I have to admit a limit of myself is I will never play five button guitar here. And that's just it. And I'm fine. I've, I've accepted that. I'm comfortable with that. But um, yeah, it, it was an interesting fad. You need the guitars to play it. So if you can find a guitar like a Goodwill or something like that, find the game. Go nuts! You know, it's a, it's not even a bad thing to break out at parties these days. But I also kind of feel like because the fad has passed, people are a little less excited about it i do remember even back in the day when it was big if you broke this out at a party some people would be like "Ooh," and other people would be like "Ugh," you know because it kind of got old fast because then it's like the tv turns on everyone stops talking to each other and stares at the tv so it's like all of a sudden this music is monopolizing the party and the conversation so i get the the feel of like not wanting it at parties but um, I think it could still be a fun time, you know, as a novelty, but what do you guys think? Is Guitar Hero Rock Band, are they done? I mean, we're done with them, I'm pretty sure, as a channel, but are they done done? Could they ever have a resurgence? Would you ever play them again? Do you still play? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below, and as always, guys, I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. Hope this, uh, little trip was a bit of nostalgia for you. And if it was, like the video and all that, that stuff. I'll catch you in the next one. Till next time, my friends. You take care of yourselves. And peace.